well addicts, we're at it again. After filming three movies in Alaska, we decided to ask our fans, what did they want to see next? Overwhelmingly, the votes came in and Peacock Bass, of all things, was the top of that list. How could a fish that was introduced in Florida in 1984 inspire so many people to want to see more? Was it the stories of how aggressive they were? Did our fans want to see what an addicted adventure would look like with these foreign to us fish? My wife and I experienced a taste of this fishery in December and met some excellent guides that I knew would be perfect for what our fans sent us to do. I couldn't wait for the opportunity to get Marlon, Sean, and Jordan down there to experience just how different these fish are. We loaded our gear, brought some salmon and steelhead tackle that we thought might work, and flew off to experience something so foreign, so different than what we're used to. And here's what ensued. I need a neck pillow. We thought it was a good idea to go flying on spring break. This is how every trip starts at 4 a.m. with addicted, all of us grumpy and pissed off at the world. Okay, are you ready to take it to my chair? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's not the same. All right, we made it to stop sucks. one. Our first layover. What do you guys think of Jordan's 1970 suitcase? Things fire. So it carries good, everything. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> With a quick layover in New York, it's on our way to Florida. Now it was kind of Cameron's idea to do this trip. This fish in particular that we're on this trip for is something that Marlon and I have been wanting to catch our entire lives. I kind of got the jitters, you know, like something I haven't had for a while, chasing fish. We arrived at our Airbnb and started tying leaders in anticipation for meeting Alex in the morning for our first day at Peacock Bass Fishing. I'm so excited that I'm literally laying in Florida right now at 75 degrees and uh, we're catching peacocks tomorrow. So with a quick night's sleep and a short stop at Dunkin' Donuts, we met Alex for our first day of peacock bass fishing. Here's our boy. We're here. We're here. Thanks Thank for you. having us, brother. Yeah, man. You have a bigger cooler? Yeah, yeah, I got a big cooler under the seat. That's what I was gonna tell you. I Let's mean, bring, bring what's necessary. Oh yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So we get to the ramp and I didn't really know what to expect. We're in, you know, we're in the Florida Everglades and you know, I'm thinking there's gonna be mosquitoes and bugs. And it wasn't, you know, it was a little bit humid, but it was amazing. The weather was amazing. I'm thinking, man, I can't wait to put my hands on this first peacock bass. Oh, they don't know what's gonna happen. So we make our way into the Everglades with Alex and you know, anticipation is high. I know Marlon and Jordan are super buzzed about this. And we head down this long, long, long canal and we finally get to some rocks and some good spots. And guess what? We're fishing in an aquarium. We're gonna be trying to get towards the bank and letting that fish just swim right around it. Normally, it doesn't have too much time to swim, so, All you know. Right. He's gonna get at. Yeah, he's he gonna get at. Addicts, what is happening right now? Where are we? Where are we? First and foremost thing that blew my mind was just the vastness of the Everglades. I've heard that word and, I, and I've seen pictures. Hey, hey, gator, 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 gator! What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the vastness of the Everglades and the, the ecology of this place absolutely blew my mind. There was so much life. Uh, it was, it's basically the world's biggest aquarium in my opinion. You get to see the fish, all the different species, and man, I just kind of sat back and let Jordan Marlin get up and I'm like, these guys need to tag their first peacock bass. That's a big peacock right there. That's like a four pounder right there, brother. Throw that shiner in his face. Where? I didn't see him. Or something no, got it. No. You got a fish. Oh, oh, you got just got one. Just be careful with the torso. All right, I got a... Holy cow. That's cool. Look okay. at that cool thing. The first fish of the trip, boys. <laughs> Way to go, dude. Good job, man. That is so cool looking. Look at them fish thing. think they got eyes in the back of their head. Jordan, pop that hook for me. Okay. okay. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> 
Look at that weird looking freaking thing. Okay, what about these? Where do I gotta be careful? Oh! Dang it, we didn't get a good look at that one. Addicts, where in the hell are we right now? There's all these weird species of fish. Oh, there was the first hey, peacock. Hey, peacock yeah. hanging around. That's right, I can see him. And then the other one gets There's a nice one. There you go, brother. There you go. There you go. There you go. First <laughs> peacock. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, cool, dude. Thank you. Oh, a little, a little two time for your mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, two for one special, guys. Two in the net. Go. Two in the net. <laughs> yeah, dude, up. Woo. We oh, just yeah. tied on the first peacock into the boat, baby. <laughs> Addicts, you just figured out what we came out here to catch. So this has been a fish that we've wanted to catch our whole lives. You know, you grow up kind of watching the videos where you can get these fish in Brazil and Colombia and some of these areas where these things get monstrous. But some guy decided at some point in time to bring these things over to Florida and release them. And they've absolutely thrived in these fisheries. They're everywhere up and down the Everglades and all these canals in Florida. And we're out here targeting them. And we're excited we got the first two in the boat, baby! So landing that first peacock was a dream come true. The colors, the, the, the shape of the fish, the, the way they fight, the way their mouth feels when you try to grab onto them, every little piece of them is unique. And uh, kind of exactly the experience that I was hoping for and that I expected out of these fish. They fought so hard, they, they jumped, they tore your line off, they ran back and forth. And ultimately the best part of all was being able to sight fish to these things and watch my first peacock bass I ever caught actually eat the bait that I was fishing with. See a big one there? Yeah, there's a couple. Okay, bring it straight to his face. Let it, let it drop right there. He already ate it. There he goes. Whack it out. Oh no, he didn't get it. He missed it. Oh. Mm. There you go, boss. I don't Not know what it is, though, but it was That's right. That's a peacock. Oh, it's a little guy. Dang it. Woohoo! I'm on the board. Cool little peacock, man. I know they get bigger. Don't bring them out the water, okay? I'll okay, know. okay. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good that's one, dude. That's holy cow. That's the one he was going for, bro. That's the one he was going for, bro. That's the one he was going for, right there. <laughs> nice, brother. Boom, baby. Yeah. Woo. Look at that. Look at that chunk, son. Yes, sir. Check look this out. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful look at that male. Color on that. Boom, beautiful male, dude. Brother. We'll tickle them right here and they flare up just like that. Look at that. Woo wee. Tickle those little rectum layers. Ready? Thank you. Thank you, buddy. That was sick. Coming here and doing this back in December with the wife and then watching these guys sit back, it's like, this is, <laughs> this is awesome. I, I, honestly, you see me in Santos, I'm always barefooted on my boat. One. You got them? There you go. Keep, 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 keep applying pressure because those pads are thick right there. There you go. There you go. Let me get that net. <laughs> Finally. He's not as big as I thought he was. Yeah. Oh man. Took a little bit of work. Oh. <laughs> that is freaking cool. You don't get to do that on a steelhead anywhere. Look at that guy. Look at him. What subspecies is him? That one. This is a male right here and this is a butterfly. Butterfly? Now, as they go getting ready to spawn mm -hmm. is when their bars come out and they start flaring up. Their colors really get vibrant when yeah. they're ready to spawn. Get you on, get you some of that right there. There guys. he is, my first one for the trip, but I'll take him. Dude. Yes. Awesome. He only took about four shiners to get him. Big <laughs> one right up on that bank over there. Big one right up on that bank. Come on, guys. Let me cool, we'll let shine. him go. Dude, there's fish everywhere here right now. We're there's... only targeting right here, but there's fish everywhere. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. that was sick. There you go, brother. That's the one. That's nice the one, one right there. Nice man. Oh, nice man. Bouncing on. Get, get, get right on the right side of that tree. Ball style, right there. Ass style, there, baby. Yeah, Boom, that was sick. Baby. That's the one I really wanted. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice one. Hey guys, check this out. You guys look. Does this look familiar? 721 Twitchers work for Peacock Bass too. Eating it, that too. 
monster, Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, you get him? Yeah. Yeah, he got him. Let me, let me get that one out for him. I did exactly what he said as soon as he freaking. Oh, this one's really nice. Oh, dude, that's what's really nice. Down really nice. Really, really nice. Way big. Tank, son. Way big. Yeah! That a boy. Oh, yeah! Got that's your peacock to the other day, Look at you. This is the biggest it. one getting caught right here so far. <laughs> yeah! Dude, get that sun hitting you right there. Some there it is, addicts. A fish I wanted to catch since I was probably eight or nine years old. And there he is. Just such a cool, unique fish. Oh, I'm stoked. Oh, Ooh, he bit me. So one of the super cool things about these fish is you get to watch them eat. You're sitting up on the bow of the boat. You're looking down in. You got your polarized glasses on. And you get to watch all these fish take these baits and take your lures and all that. Yeah, yeah, let them take off with it. Let them grab it and take oh, off. I think he got it, he got it. Let them take off, let them take off, whack them. Oh, oh what you the see, hell? If you have your bail open, yeah. so run with it more, give it like two seconds, and then you, you close that bail. That. Okay, got right there on the bed. You got it, you got, you got it. it. You got a Tiger Oscar right there. Yeah. When he brings that in, there's another fish right there. There's a peacock right around there. Tiger Oscar. There you go, brother. There oh, you yeah. go. So one of you throw first. Fish number three, baby. I, I was the, the gar decoy. You see the gar attacking yeah. them too? Like, <laughs> so he took the gar, Cameron casted, the gar chased his, moved away from the peacock. On, I got fish. this. Big fish. Big fish. Yeah, brother. <laughs> that was sick. That yeah. Was sick. Yeah. yeah. We're peacocking. So, guys, if you notice, uh, when you're largemouth bass fishing, the females are always the big ones. Uh -huh. When you're peacock fishing, the males are always the giants. Look at that, Look at that fish, guys. Chunk, if you can tell all of them are eating. Look how fat they are. Mm -hmm. Guard decoy, guard decoy. Guard decoy, quick, get it in. Got the peacock. God, those things are crazy oh, these looking. These things are pretty vicious. Um, Is that him that stinks? Yeah. They stink, bro. Stinky bastard. I never as put soon them on as the you deck pulled, as soon as he pulled that out of the water, I could smell I it. Bro, my hand right now is gonna stink for the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll try not to do that again. But for you guys, it's all right. Look at that. <laughs> ah, ugly fish. Ugh. Boom, baby. There you go. Quick work. Good job, man. There's a Velociraptor over there. <laughs> Another beautiful fish. She's, That's the one I was trying to get. Small, so we're gonna let her back in. Look at the look at the spot on the tail. So these peacocks, they all have different marks on them. Like they're not always just a circle. Super unique. I've caught them with the ones that look like smiley faces. I've caught them with like hearts. You know, it's, huh. it's real cool, man. The way they change up. And then you'll also see these. This is like an actual butterfly peacock. You see the bars on them coming out. But there's some that you see that just have spots all over them. And that's a different type of species that we have. We're decoying this. So there's all kinds of different species we don't want to catch around this big fish. Around this so I'm drawing them out and drawing them yeah, out. Get him, get him, Jordan. Get him, get him, get him. Jordan. You got this, brother. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, he's on it. Oh. Okay. There you go. That's the one. Bring it right in his face. Oh. They're pushing it away. That is so crazy. He's creating this little, this little, like, this little, what do we call it? Like a little mini leaf blower out of his mouth. If that makes any sense, but he's pushing water out to push the shiner away from his bed. About every third or fourth time we cast in there, he'll actually eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh, got oh, 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 oh. Okay, go. that might be the one right there, guys. That's it. Good trainer. There you go. Got it. Whack. Oh my god. Oh, oh now he grabbed first. it. Now he ate it. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. All right. Put, this is the put, coolest put video game in. ever. He said that like three <laughs> times now, guys. If not, then he's gonna get kind of like pissed off and he's gonna go away, you know? How's that? Oh! No, wow, I just <laughs> still in the hook chart again, dude. Okay, you my turn. turn though before you <laughs> We're going cast for cast challenge here. Okay, go, What's the stakes go, if we go, catch go, this just one? Just go, just go. What's right the now. stakes if we we'll catch this one? We'll play this game. Oh, Gar. Decoy. I'm gonna decoy him out. Oh, this Gar. This Gar got a mind of their own. He was just sitting yeah. there. He was not gonna him. give up that spot. I got a good fresh shiner here. Do you still see him? Wait, there's two of them right side by side. See him? They're right off the end of the tree. Oh, jeez. Yeah.
them try to catch the other one because when they see two one. I got him. I got him. I got him. There he goes. I finally let him grab it and then he finally turned to the left and I let him actually turn. Oh, really? And let him actually turn. Man, we worked that one. That is the prettiest one yet. Nice one. I'm so glad we worked that for so long. Look at that thing. Oh, baby. You're right, though. I let him hit it and he grabbed it and then he finally rotated it. Wow. Oh, what a cool one. Look at the size of that one, huh? Guys, yes, we sir. We need one more. Yeah, we need one baby. more. Let's go. That one, was, that one was worth about yes, two dozen sir. containers. Oh, yes, look at that. Sir. You cool see what I was talking bitch. about? How this guy got spots all over him. He doesn't just have the bars. <laughs> what is this? It looks like a snake head. No, dude, you're gonna get a shot with him. But that is so cool. <laughs> but I crazy, saw him working like by. Crazy, look, look. Yeah. The only way you can grab this is grabbing it by the fin. All right, just like that. But you gotta be careful with his teeth. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Cool look fish. Look at that guy. Weird head. Dude. Really interesting fish. So strong, man. I saw him. He was just slurking by, and I didn't know what it was. I threw my shiner, and he just destroyed it. Oh. To get him out of here. Oh, he was all over. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. <laughs> Another beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and release this beautiful fish. Oh, look at the look on that one freaking head, dude. Someone smacked him in the noggin. Oh, cool. So these are the ones that turn out to be what we call out here mailboxes because they'll only grow to like 24 inches long but then they just start getting super yeah. wide and tall like I've caught a peacock with a head bigger than mine so you know? that is so cool <laughs> we've been working these two fish in this one single bed and we finally we mastered them we had to give them a little break I got the one with the schnoz Cameron got the pretty one. Look at the lump on that thing's head. He's a lumpy bastard. So one of my favorite parts of the day was we had live welled a few fish, you know. We wanted to get kind of like the, the buddy shot of all three, me, Cam, and Jordan, in a new area, catching all these fish. And it was one of my favorite moments of the trip, you know. One, two, three. You guys hear me say it a lot, and these guys are these guys are truly my brothers. They're my friends. They're my best friends, and I wouldn't be able to run addicted and, and build this business and do all this yeah. content for all you addicts if it wasn't for these guys. And honestly, if it wasn't for Sean, you know. Oh, he bit me. And so now that I'd gotten my first couple fish, I really wanted to switch to the fly rod. Oh my god. I'm watching him. Oh my god, going back. Oh. Let me go back for him. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it! He's got it. <laughs> back oh. here, back First here. one on the fly, dude. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was cool. So as we were trying to catch Sean a fish here, I'm going off the back of the boat and I saw these two giant peacocks sitting off the bank and I had to try to get one on my fly rod and it worked. <laughs> First one on the fly, everybody. Ow! To see Jordan pick up the fly rod and get after it and start getting peacocks on that was incredibly cool, but I mean, it just fits his nature. It's Jordan, he's gonna be good with the fly rod, and he quickly started mopping them up. Just keep stripping normal. That was the cast right there. Um, yeah. Got him. Got him. There you go. No, what is it? Peacock, it's peacock, dude. Dude, that fly is freaking mopping them up, dude. <laughs> Well, that's such a perfect cast, Sean. He's got it! He's got it! He's got it! Go, got it, Sean! Oh, Sean, we're doubled up, dude. Don't let the camera Double. Man, well. Man, that one's got some really cool colors. Oh, big one, son. Dude. Big one, son. <laughs> oh, two for one special, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Nux, <Nuts>, dude. <laughs> Another species Another off the list. Peacock. 
Uh, we want one like this, just a little bit bigger. You know why though? They don't like them. So once we got Marlon and Jordan on a bunch of peacocks, you know, we knew we wanted to get some underwater footage. So I ended up hopping out on the bank. We got those pre, you know, get into the water, catch a bunch of fish jitters done. And we went to work and we tried to get you guys some awesome underwater peacock bass footage. If Jordan gets it in front of it, the thing's gonna eat. There it is, there it is, there it is. Don't twitch a little bit, you're gonna get on that stick. We'll be right there to the right. Oh my god. They're oh! Right. Okay, strip yeah, one. It's recording. And let it sing. Let it sing. Strip. Strip. Right, right there. Stop. Let it sing. Pause, pause, pause. No, he's looking at the oh, camera. Oh, oh. No, there's another one right. I've got a. There's a bunch of them in there that are under the rock. Somebody get them. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Ready? This is it. Wait, wait. Drop, drop, drop right there. I touched him. He didn't die. He didn't bite it. These fish are just being. One, well, they'll hit and then they won't hit and they won't hit. They're more interested in the camera at this point, so it's really cool. No, no, no. Bring it out. Bring it out. Right there. Oh my god. Right there. Right there. Oh, he sees it. He right sees there. Leave it. it. Leave it. They'll open. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just keep, keep it in there. I'm watching it. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Oh my god. It's on the rock. Oh, okay, I'll push you off. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. Right there. Right there. That's how oh. he wants it on the oh. right of him, right there. That's how he wants it, right there. Oh. See that? Oh. Keep on it. Oh, Marlin. Oh, 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 he wants it. Sticks right here. Okay, I'm gonna Stop. go left here. Yes. No, not that far left, but you're good. Drop it, drop it. Oh, 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 don't, 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 don't twitch anymore. Oh, he was, he, oh, don't, don't move it, don't move it. Twitch it, maybe just a teeny give it some life. Oh my God. Do it again. We gotta name this one. Come on, Fred, eat it. Oh, he's got it! No, no, he didn't. He did not grab it. He did not. He did not. He turned at it. Yeah. He did not yeah. I want to see some comments below, guys. What you think of this debauchery? Oh. This is hilarious. Oh, he's eating it. And he knows not to grab it. Yeah. Oh, oh but I'll piss him off, dude. Oh, this is insanity. He's drunk backside. He's turning. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 So much fun to watch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, get one of those other ones underneath the rock. I feel like they're. Oh, there he comes! There he comes! Oh. <laughs> That's the one that wants that'll actually eat it, though, right? Oh, 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 oh I spit it out! <laughs> I let him. I let him. So then, when I go like this, and he gets pissed. These fish are. They Look at him, he's right at the camera's up. feet, everybody. This is insane. They just don't give. Oh! He ate the he ate the buck. Oh, that's the bigger one. The bigger one's out. Oh, he's getting way more feisty. Oh! Oh yeah, he shot at it. Oh no. god, he's got it! Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, he it's, on. it's coming, it's coming. There you go. Oh my gosh, darn it! That's still gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah, keep hitting it this way, this way. Yeah, he ate it. Oh my, he ate it again. Oh my God. Yeah, he ate it three times. Oh, he got it, he got it. Oh, perfect. So we ended day one with 
I literally don't know how many fish. I don't know how many species. It was insane. We caught insane amounts of fish. And I just got to give a huge shout out to Alex. Thanks for taking us out, man. It was a great time fishing with you. Learned a lot. That's one of the cool things about going to different areas is you can go learn stuff from other people that are professionals in their area. And then you can go apply those techniques to wherever you fish. So thanks again, Alex. It was a fun time. Yes, sir. <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. You, that was fun stuff. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, great time, dude. Awesome. Yeah. That was epic. Awesome. 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 That'll work. So after an amazing first day fishing with Alex and getting Marlon and Jordan their first peacock bass, getting to watch it, experience it, we headed back to our b and we knew it was gonna be on the water and we knew there was gonna be some other shenanigans in store. Urban iguanas, guys, I gotta catch one. This is my friend, Iggy, Iggy World. I wanted to catch one of these my whole life, and now I got him. Hello, friend. I miss my dog. Wanna be my new dog? He is super chill, though, look at him. We have really similar personalities. So, all of us, unbeknownst to us, we knew this house was on a lake, but didn't know that there'd be trophy bass spawning in the backyard. Yep. You can see their orange fins and everything. Cool. 100% peacock bass right there. A peacock bass guide now? Well, they're rock. They're bedded too. Look, they're in the middle of a bed. Get them from the porch. I didn't even think twice. I ran back, grabbed the jerk bait, headed down, and those fish probably weren't pressured like some of the other ones, and the reaction from those bass was immediate. Got him! Got him! He's got him! Oh, Oh, he popped oh, off! What the shit? Now we got him! Oh, oh my god! Oh, no! That was six pounds. That's six pounds. What do you think that Christmas tree caught? Got him! Got him! Got him good. Yes. Oh! Oh! Yeah, Cameron! Yeah. There he is! There he is. <laughs> the backyard freaking dude, look at that jerkbait, guys. You hook him, I hooked him twice. What the shit? That was nuts. And he got, he, he jumped the line around the law. Oh, like, oh, he's in my skin, he is in my skin. He is in my skin. He's in my skin. Okay, okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was scary. Holy crap, okay, I need pliers or somebody here. Yeah, look at that. Go backyarder. Oh my God, there's, there's a bigger one, right? I mean, there's a giant right there. Right oh my, yeah, grab that. He's on that next bed, he's right there. He's bigger than this one. I swear to you, he's, he's right there. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. Holy cow. There's like two or three of them. There's a big one that's like this deep. Got him, got him. Yeah. I know not my cake on too much, so it's what's the pop out. Cool on the back I'm gonna go with the tail grab again. And after that, we decided, let's go get some of the local flair. Let's go try something we haven't tried. So we wandered our way into a Cuban restaurant called La Mesa and had the most incredible food. Mm. What do you got there, dude? What do you got? A little, I already forgot the name. Something like Camarona Bogalo. So we forgot some gear, of course in our guide's boat. Had to drive all the way back across town. And we decided, hey, while we're in town, let's try the local fair. So we're at La Mesa on uh, dance night. It's about, the party's about to start. But obviously we're completely out of our realm. This is definitely a Hispanic place. Looks like Cuban food or something south of the border, obviously. But it's absolutely delicious. I think it was a good stop. We haven't even got our meals yet. Mm -hmm. good. Lobster nuts. Pinky's way out. This is the pinky out drink right here. Get, get your drink out here. I got a little herb. It's got a little garnish. <laughs> hey, your wife called. She wants your drink back. <laughs> Bomb. So day number one for me is definitely one for the books. A brand new Florida experience, brand new place, brand new friend in Alec, and an entirely different experience planned for tomorrow, and I cannot wait. 
So we pull up to the boat ramp in the morning and it's probably one of the most inconspicuous boat ramps I've ever seen. It's under a power line, it's a dirt ramp, and we pull up and I see Drew walk up, gives me a big old hug and I already know we're gonna be friends. Now, Captain Drew was the guy that my wife and I came up here in December to Florida to fish peacocks with. He was the guy who got my first peacock, and now I get to share that experience with Marlon and Jordan because Drew's an awesome captain, awesome guy, super knowledgeable, and uh, I'm just super stoked to start the day. Uh, Sean does what they call it, the urban Amazon. Instantly, I'm blown away by even just the environment that we're fishing in. Drew calls it the, the urban Amazon, and it, that couldn't be more on point. I mean, there's just these cool trees hanging over and these super unique flowers on all the different bushes. There's freaking iguanas running around, parrots flying over us. Like, just really, really, really cool. There's two right there on a bed. See you? Yep. Male over here, female over there. Two nice ones here. Oh, wow. Look at that. First cast. You got it. In the urban Yeah, Amazon. whatever we're on. bait on that, Chief? Oh, yeah, there he is, Marlon. Look. You see, um... I see an orange, yep. Yeah. Go in there, bro. Get over. She already fucking tried to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> on a jig? Yeah, on an addicted jig. On an addicted jig! jig. Hey, on a, yeah. Shut up! We're sitting here freaking fishing live bait and Marlon's busting out steelhead jigs. Oh, that's badass. Look at that, guys. Got him on the Santa Claus. Before he even got here. Oh, yeah. All right, go back and make some babies, buddy. Addicted jigs, baby. First score today. We got Jordan and I running live shiner. Marlon's back here. Steelhead. Dude, two days in a row. We, first if, fish. If you had an addicted flow right now, you'd probably be like even more dangerous. Oh. <laughs> you know, we're using our addicted sink it series jigs, which is funny. You know, it's a steelhead jig, but our guide out here had told us, man, these things are working for these peacocks. On it. In between perfect. Both of those oh, perfect. perfect. All right, that'll fall, that'll fall. You Get got off. him. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be shy. Uh, that's why we all got glasses out you, here, everybody. You Some oh, you son of a seagull. Fine. Freaking seagull. Santa Claus got him. That's why he brought the white hat with the red shirt. <laughs> He's got Santa Claus he here. Ah. Oh. The thing is. I see. You, I see. You, you guys think that. That Marlon's never been here, but he doesn't tell you guys when he comes. And he fishes with me all the time, and, yep, we, and yep. we use this jig. <laughs> <laughs> These fish are so crazy, addicts. This fish, I hooked him and missed. I hooked him. I actually saw him turn, threw it right back in there. He tried to eat Jordan's jig, and then I threw it back in there and just absolutely just crushed mine. Cool, cool fish. Let's let him go make some babies. That's a good one, Jordan. Got it, got it. Come on, man, that boy! Sure it is, everybody. My first one in the Amazon. And we figured out, okay, right out of the gate, we gotta get some underwater. The fish presented itself the opportunity, and. We started getting after it. Oh, there's two of them here. He didn't, okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I didn't touch so, like, it, he, yeah. He didn't have it, he pushed it in. Marlon's on it, it's over. Yep. Oh, gotta be up. Well, yep, well. <laughs> <laughs> They're on them, they're just no, not. No, 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 they're the best jig I Just so you know, yeah. I would have caught all of these fish already. <laughs> on the fly. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, you could go right here, come on. Yeah. On the fly. Let's go. No, I don't even need to be there. I, I want, right we need to catch them. Let's catch see it. Them, them it ain't no freaking, I don't got no pride. <laughs> Addicts, we had to let the pro move in here. I've missed him about oh, 45 God. times. Oh, God. We got to let him get the action going here. <laughs> That's how you gotta do it though. Exactly what I was yeah. trying, it's yeah. A, it's a lot of swing and a misses, but you, the more you piss them off, guys. Oh! When they move hard on it, you just gotta set it, whether you saw it happen or not. You see them make a hard move and you gotta get them. You just gotta hit them. Oh, he's gone! <laughs> 
Alright, oh, you got it out. I see what you're saying. You ready? I had three shots and I had like three hook sticks. You just gotta. You just Not gotta far enough, sorry. Yeah, and it, it's all. Ooh. But you see, I pissed them off, you know? It was tougher than I thought. You know, you can see these fish and you're, you're trying to pitch into them, and it's really important that you place the jig exactly where it needs to be to get the fish to bite it. Just came back. Oh, yeah, he's right in there, huh? There he is! Oh! oh my God, no. That's what you gotta do. I'm watching the color of the jig, and as soon as I, I realize, like, okay, I'm missing this fish every single time. You're gonna see in the footage, he's coming up and hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, but I'm missing him every single time until you can just finally time it right to where you set the hook right as that fish is going for the jig. As soon as I don't yeah, see color exactly. in the jig, I set the hook. Oh, nice! Oh, I think I got that. that was a lot lower hook set, too. So. You set it to the side instead of straight up. Dude, these fish are real, dude. <laughs> nice job, brother. Imagine doing that when you're five years old. And so now, guys, this is the bigger one. Sink it, series, peacock. These are no longer steelhead jigs, they're peacock jigs. All you Floridians, how do you say it? Florida, Floridonians? The best thing to do now, guys, is not catch that female, you know? Okay, we're done now. Yeah, we're like we shouldn't catch her because the orange ones are gonna come up on the bed. There won't be a male there. There won't be a female there, and, and they eat all the eggs. You know. Bam! We finally get the first one successful underwater, and then we just made it a mission. Okay, now we got to get a big one. Underwater take. Let's go for this. Get in there, dude. Oh my God! Someone please catch him. This is gonna be so sick. I don't even see the fish anymore. There, I can see him. Here he comes. Ready? Female. That other one was way bigger than that. Yeah, yeah. that was so a female. We're gonna get away and tell us when he's back, okay? <laughs> oh my god, he's there. He's huge. Get right. in there, Cameron. Right. Oh my god, he's gotta be at least four. Oh, he's bigger than that, brother. Here, Cameron. He's, he's literally, well, I'm pointing right at him. Okay. Get, go now. He's perfectly set up. Go, Cam. Cast just to the left of my camera. That's it. Drop it right there. Nope, you're behind. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh. 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 I got that all though. That was I sick. saw him go. He was big on that. Yeah. Okay, he's there. Fire in there. Fire in there. Oh my God, that's it. That's it. No, he didn't take it. He didn't take it. He leave it. Leave it. Leave it. He went to grab it, but he didn't grab it. Yeah. He's sitting perfectly, and I'm aiming right at him. And he is so concerned about this camera that he doesn't even know you guys are there doing anything. So like, when you drop it in there, he's gonna need it for sure. Yeah. It got, oh my God. Half the time I'd throw that jig out there, if it was gonna be short, I'd rip it back before it touched the water because it seemed like if you put it anywhere else but right on this one X, he would spook to the line or you'd see something. I mean, he's a big old wise fish. He'd be super smart. He wasn't gonna be able to get him. But if you put it on that X, he would turn and hit it, hit it, hit it again. Got him! He had that in his mouth for a long time. Still Go. There. He just got back. Go. Yeah. There it is. Got him. Oh my God. I watched the gills flare and everything. I watched the whole jig completely disappear in his mouth. No, no, don't do anything. Jig it. Got him! After about seven or eight times of me missing, I'd see his gills flare, you'd see his mouth open, and then finally, 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 Drew's like, you just need to set the hook honestly before the fish bites it. Got him! There he is! Oh my god, he's going. He's going. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big one. What the <laughs> heck? That is a fish. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. That's my joke. I <laughs> got it. Yeah, I'm gonna guess like four and three quarter, five pounds. Four and three quarter or five pounds, like right on that line. Damn. So four and a half is right there, four and three quarters this line, and it's just above that. There he is, guys. After all that, 
after me whiffing him about 10 different times, Drew spotted him, said it's a big fish, but man, these fish, they don't even look this big until you get them out of the water. Like you see them in there doing the aggressive thing, tacking jigs, chasing other fish off, and then you get them in your hand. I mean, look at that mouth. I mean, where can you go catch a fish and have it miss 10, and, and basically miss him 10 times, like I'll be honest, miss him 10 times. And then of course, I mean, come on. You almost that, ate it again. It's You're the, just sitting there. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, a steelhead jig, guys. Steelhead jig. Now, peacock bass jig. Here you go. There's the proof. There's the evidence. You saw the underwater. How sick was that? Comment below. You know the drill, because there's going to be a lot more of that coming. Drew. Yeah, baby. A buddy. I finally was able to stick that fish, and we ended up with a fish that was just that short of five pounds. My biggest peacock bass. Excellent fish. Got it on another addicted tail out twitcher shocker, and uh, we were off to hunt more monsters. You know, we're trying to get Marlon and Jordan some big fish. I'm letting them up in the boat and I'm sitting there back, just flipping a little jig just along the side, just playing with this little bright orange addicted tail out twitcher. And just out of nowhere, I get grabbed under the boat. I wasn't even expecting it. On the sinket. <laughs> On the sinket. And it turned out to be a really nice largemouth. And it was the first largemouth of the day. A largemouth! We're just cruising into this spot. And I'm just like flipping this jig just to be silly about it. Large enough, came out and smoked it. Does he think it's a goldfish? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Kind of a skinny sucker. He's got to compete with all these peacocks in here. No wonder he's not getting all that full. Those guys are blue and yellow macaws, right? And in 1992, we had um, a bad hurricane called Hurricane Andrew. And over here was a, a place called Parrot Jungle and the blue and yellow ones escaped from the from Para Jungle. And ever since, they've been like mating and just reproducing, reproducing. When I was a kid, I might see two or four flying around. Now, every time we come, it's just like, I've seen a building one time in South Miami, 40 of them just living in the building, you know? So it's just like the urban Amazon for real. <laughs> That's my second catch of the day. Beautiful little Iggy. This is Iggy Smalls. <laughs> so after we searched for bedding fish for a little while, Drew's like, it's time to start doing some blind casting. We really needed to let those shiners get on those banks, work down to the depth where some of those bigger, smarter, wiser fish were hiding. Big shiner. This is how you get a seven pound peacock bass. I hope I make this cast right. Tail wagon. Oh, look at that. There it is. Marlino. Oh, that's a good one. That's a cool one. I want to get a picture of that one for sure. First slot bait fish, My blind casting for him. Such amazing fish. Look at this coloring and the spotting. And we're showing you guys, we're doing a lot of close up and B-roll of these fish addicts because they're just so cool and unique. And we hope you guys are loving them as much as we are. Bass number two, the uh, definitely probably the prettiest one, most characteristic of anyone I've caught so far. What a cool fish. Look at the gills on that. Every little piece of these fish I like. My favorite part, of course, is the spot on the tail. That's, I think, everyone's unique. Oh, come on! I should have done it. He's not gonna let it go. He's on He's got it. it. 
<laughs> that was a Marlin hook set if I've ever done one. <laughs> That's a nice one. What a pretty one though. Each one of these I found, especially in this canal, has looked so much different from the other. This has been my favorite spot so far. Oh, epic. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Look at, look at him taking the line. Oh, look at him taking the line. I'm just gonna let him keep going. Oh, got him. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice fish. Whoa. He is going. See ya. Look at him. Blue tail, what a fighter. I let him eat and eat and eat. Watch, watch. Look at that. Well, buddy, you are definitely the uh, most um, pretty. We'll call him he the pretty best one. smile. Best smile. And there's these kids in there fishing with us and they're freaking awesome dudes. They're going by us probably three or four times during the day and just pitching us crap, throwing jokes at us and stuff. What are they talking about? Nothing, dude. We're just scheming <laughs> against you guys. We're planning a race. Oh, race? Yeah. You guys race? Hey, what is that off the front of your bow? <laughs> Probably a rope. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, the right like behind you on the on the on main the motor. Side. What is that? No, no, oh, the you're other dragging side. Dragging it in the water. To the left. Never mind, dude. To the left, you moron. <laughs> He's like, hey, what have you guys been using to catch them? And so. We end up pulling out a bunch of our Sink It series jigs and hook the kid up. Yeah, this uh, Livingston lure is my sponsor. Lunch break. Fellow angler, kind of poking around. As soon as catch some fish, and Drew's a nice enough guy hooking them up. Marlon's giving him some jigs because, you know, these steelhead jigs are kind of new down here. They haven't really been used a lot, but they're working. It was, it was actually an honor to be able to give them some jigs and help them maybe potentially catch the fish of a lifetime in, in a method that they never knew they could even use. And I gotta say, that's been my favorite part of the trip so far. Hey, thanks. Okay. Yeah, no problem, boys. Let me know if you guys catch anything. Hey, remember, my name's Bartholomew, and he's gonna be <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, Bartholomew. All right, peace out. You wanna touch the boat anymore? Sorry, I'm trying to go around you guys. Oh, never mind. It'll buff out. Hey, did you see that? What happened? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> kids are out there watching, keep fishing, boys. I had a shiner and the other corner looked really good. And I threw the shiner out and instead of getting those big sweeping bites like you're seeing on the video here where the fish will just take the line and the peacock will run it out, I get this real subtle just tap. And all of a sudden I start to lift and it's just a little bit of pressure. So I reel down, come on, there he is. And out of nowhere, all I see is this big gaping mouth come up out of the deep. We knew we had a big large mouth on. What is that? Giant, get that. Oh, it's a giant bass. Oh, it is. It's a really nice large mouth. That's nice. Exciting. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. I mean, that's a four pounder. Yeah. No, it's a big bass. Whoa, baby. Bucket mouth. <laughs> Bucket mouth. Oh, look at that. He is a bruiser. It was that one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that mouth and that head compared to that body. Still had a motor on her, still put up a nice fight, but geez, just wolfed that shiner. Look at that. We haven't been doing the largey. We're not even trying for largies. Ow, he bit me. Charlie bit me. You gonna go? Oh, there he goes. Toe spawn fish. Those fish are just kind of hanging out. They've lost a lot of their weight due to the spawning process, but I was able to put it back and we continued our hunt for a big peacock. Oh yeah, nice one. My nice Oh, look at the tail. Wow, my favorite one so far. Hands down. Wow. So freaking cool. Yeah, that's my favorite colored one yet. Alright buddy, thank you. It's called Pupina. It's Cuban soda. And everybody, when they try that, they're like, love that. 
I just went whooping you on a fish. That was great. That's how you said that. Whoa. Yeah. Mmm, that tasted so good. That's the taste of freedom right there. That's right. His name is whooping you. Chapino! Whoa, he's all the way over there. He's all the way over there. Holy cow. Get the net, get the net. It's a big one. It is a big one. I am not joking. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh God. Holy shit. He's not ready. Come on, baby. Stay on there. Oh my gosh. Get it to me. Yes! Yeah. Chapino! <laughs> Hupina! <Hupinha>, whatever. <laughs> Chapino! Hupina! I literally took a sip of that stuff. It's magic, baby. He was really down How much is that one away? Six? Five and a half? Quarter, four and a half. Four and a half. Just about a quarter pound under that other one. Yeah, exactly. Look at him. Just a freaking stud. That's definitely gotta be. I hope. That camera is doing that justice, addicts, because that is just some really, I mean, flame, flame red. As bright as you could see on anything. Just a, almost as bright as Marlon's shirt, if you really like. And look at that. Ended up being four and a half pounds, just that much smaller than the last one we caught. Uh, but I mean, shoot, I mean, a four pound peacock bass. I mean, we're sitting here in the urban Amazon. I mean, like, that's a big fish anywhere you go. Later, bud. So once again, you kind of have that feeling when you see people that might potentially be friends or you might potentially like. And as we cruised by this old guy on the bank, and I won't call him old, this strapping young man on the bank, and he was so friendly from the moment we saw him. We were chatting back and forth, BSing, and, and as we come back through the second time, he has a fish on. Teach him how to fight him. Guys, he's gonna show you how you fight him. Look. We need a net. Oh, oh my god, the other one's bigger. Yeah? Oh, the, I got the female. Throw a shiner in here. All right. Throw a shiner in that hole. Look, with the addicted jig. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine gave that to me. Yeah. I think it's the coon hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, bro. That's a trophy, man. Oh my god, he's not getting. He's not getting. Oh, it's really big. Here, we gotta put both of them. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you guys booked me. You could just stand on his on his go, Here you go. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, brother. Oh, See what happens when you when you do good deeds. We we went by and gave this guy some of our addicted jigs, and he just put us on the biggest fish of the trip. <laughs> I don't know if you really want this little guy. I thought he was big. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll save my back. It'll make this one look bigger. Oh, <laughs> man. He's <laughs> down that water. It's Holy sh... Wait, that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a trophy. Landing that fish was a dream come true. I've been watching people catch peacock bass on TV and online since I was like 10 years old, since I really, really started to enjoy fishing. I thought they were the coolest fish. I love unique fish, but these ones, the characteristics of them and, and just the fish that they are is so impressive and I've always been infatuated with them. Oh, beautiful fish. Thank you, brother. Hey, I call one uh, like... How big is it? We're gonna tell you right now. Did you catch him on the day catch Yeah, I caught him, man. Way down there, though. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Six pounds. Six pounds. Six pounds. Six pounds. Woo! Dude, that's worth six pounds, dude. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so laying my hands on the biggest fish of the trip so far truly was is just a memory I'll always take. The environment, the people around me, the laughter and the fun, and then just the experience of exchange with that guy on the bank and him bringing us that fish. It, it's a memory I'll never forget. Thank you, buddy. My hand fits in it. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's getting me! He's eating me! <laughs> I'm not even touched. Ow! He's chomping me. Okay. 
Later, dude. So after Jordan lands that big fish, we end up cruising the bank a lot. We put on miles. We wanted to find a big fish. We're running out of daylight. So we're searching, we're searching, we're searching, we're searching. Doesn't happen. You know, we get to the end of the day and I don't ever get a fish really in that five to six pound class, but no big deal. Cause it didn't really matter. You know, honestly, this was just such a cool experience being out here and doing something different. And that's one of the things when you come to these destinations, you know, you put these goals on your list. And if you don't end up achieving your goals, guess what? It's just an excuse to come right back and do it again. So I'm gonna be back to these canals searching for the big one. Sean's birthday, but we had to embarrass him. <laughs> he knew it. Get a free cake. A free cake. Day number three starts in one of the most epic settings I think I've ever seen fishing in my life. We pull up to the boat ramp and look across this vastness of marsh and the sun's rising over. And we hop in the boat, start ripping some music, and we're on our way. One of the goals on the trip was to try to catch a big largemouth. And you know, our buddy Drew said he had some good spots where we had a chance at catching one, potentially even into the double digits. So we said, hey, we know we're not gonna get a lot of fish today, but let's go try to get a big one. We have the most bass in the Everglades of anywhere in the whole country. Like in this 1.7 million acres of Everglades, there's more fish here than anywhere in the country. But since it's kind of like a river, they're always in running water. So instead of being in a lake like Okeechobee, just getting fat and fat and, and growing to be 10, 12, 14 pounds, they'll be eight pounds, but they'll be like 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? They'll be constantly working out. So they fight harder than your normal bass. You know, about nine pounds. Oh, I got I, I got grabbed. He missed it though. Okay, man. You got something. You got a big daddy, three quarter pounder instead of a half pounder. Hey, <laughs> there he is. That's a largey. For how small this fish was, I actually thought I hooked a good one. Like that thing absolutely yanked it out of my hand. Right. Got him. <laughs> Look at that thing. There's all sorts of, what, is that a, so, What's, I mean, there's, what, a, uh, there's a chip and a battery in there, and it's activated when you wet it, right? What? So watch. You wet it, and listen to this. It's called EBS technology. In four seconds, it's gonna go off again. I heard it go click, click. Oh yeah. What the heck? So that is the sounds of a minnow in distress. All right, battery powered some magic in a Livingston lure. Powered magic. <laughs> I've been seeing some nice ones roll over there. You're grabbing me, Lula. Oh, got him! <laughs> that didn't take long. Freaking battery powered magic right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. The... Oh, look at that. Look how aggressive that fish is. Seems like it's fighting like an oster, but who knows? Oh, it's a peacock. 
caught. Good. Nice one. Oh, it's two fish. Yeah. It's two. It's a peacock and an Oscar combo. <laughs> That's how good. That is how good those lures are, I guess. Two fish at <laughs> one. He's like, I'm trying to. This guy's been all this whole time. I, I've been literally. He's been like, Marlon, put this on. I put something else on. He's like, Marlon, you should put this on. I put something else on. <laughs> so I finally said, you know what? I better listen to Drew. And look what happens. Two for one. There's only one Florida ever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that guy, Julio. Nice. <laughs> Man, we're catching the species up in Florida. A bass had come up and hit the lure, so then I get it in and I catch literally a bass and an Oscar at the exact same time. I hadn't had that really happen to me ever before. I'd seen videos of it, but it was really cool to catch two fish on one lure. I've got a gar. On the line. He bit the line. That, that's how good the addicted braid is right there, folks. Like, the addicted braid just itself will catch fish. And I just let him swim out there. I promise. And then the big bass came up. I promise, dude. Bass. Look it. What is I promise. Honestly, he's not He's not trying to eat the Oscar. He's trying to eat the lure out of his mouth. Either way, it worked. I want to try it again. Yeah. Want a picture? No, I'm good. I'm gonna put him in the light one. Big peacock. Big peacock. That living thing in his mouth, baby. So we start teeing off on these things, top water, jerk baits. He had these really cool living stin lures that had these little buzzers in it. And it was very apparent that those fish were so keyed in on them. We ultimately caught some really nice peacocks too and tons of those dirty little Oscars. I lost count really at how many we caught, but we couldn't find anything really over that two pound range. But still just an amazing day of fishing, just sitting there catching them on all different types of lures, top water, jerk baits, just a really fun day in this spot. That's a cool looking fish. So it's called a jaguar because of the pattern. Wapote. What'd you call me? So halfway through the day, we start cruising the riverbank and all of a sudden Marlon like hooks something like he thinks it's the bottom, but he was casting like out in the middle of the channel with like a popper. Marlon hooks something big. We've been chasing it around for a little bit here. We have no idea what it is. We have our suspicions though. And Drew starts pulling on that line, pulling on that line. It was straight braid, so we got some good power on it. Oh, oh, oh I see bubbles. Oh my God, it's a freaking gator. Oh my I God. Bet. That head was that freaking wide. My holy man, cow. He called that to a T. This has happened to him before, I can tell. <laughs> this is what experienced oh. guide gets you. Drew's yeah. guide service, link in the description. Come out here and I was gonna like don't catch a gator, but come out here and go fishing. Thanks, Marlon. I was gonna reach down and let that thing go. Yeah, right. That thing's that thing's head was coming up. It was a gator. I hope you guys saw that. Really holy nice. cow. Oh my god! It's a freaking gator! Oh my oh, god! Hey, let it be known. That's 30 pound addicted enforcer braid. <laughs> Catching gator. We just towed a gator. So after a few hours and a couple hundred fish later, we said, you know what, we better go on a mission. Drew did a last Hail Mary. We started, we put Marlin and him up front. We're like, just catch a bass, guys. Marlin and Drew are probably our strongest bass fishermen in that boat. We said, we need to get it done. Dude! Dude! Are you kidding me right now? Marlon's like taking two casts. He's got the biggest bass of the trip on right now. Right away, Marlon ended up catching the largest largemouth of the day. Big old head on it. Big old head? Yeah! yeah. I like the second cast. Nice, Marlon. Nice, Marlon. Daddy blew up on it. But wasn't really the one we're after, but still quite an achievement for coming down here and not knowing and not seeing and just being new to this fishery. We knew it was gonna be just kind of a long shot to try to find one of these just double digit bass in there. We know they're there. The Everglades is one of the largest bass sanctuaries in the world. So wrapping this trip up once again, I have to say this is definitely top five coolest fishing trips I've ever been on. Just because of the diversity of the water that we fish, the people that we fish with, huge thanks to Drew and Alec. I look forward to seeing you guys again and it will definitely be happening, you guarantee that. And thanks to the state of Florida for offering such a cool fishery and letting people like us come down and have fun and run rampant. Dude, I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, thank you bro, thank yep. you man. That's super cool, thanks for super thanks for the love. Thank you,
Yes, we'll see sir. you soon. Wish the largies were biting better today, but at least the peacocks were good. Yeah. If it's up to you guys, I want you to comment down below on whether or not we should go back and chase these peacocks, bass, or even try to get a little salty in Florida for the next time.